Paws. You're a fan favorite on YouTube, man. We got people saying that you're their spirit animal. You're certainly mine when you're eating. Don't even look up, all business. Food on the ground, Dad. Time to eat. So what we're going to do is a little unboxing. Okay. Hmm. Speaking of unboxing, you mentioned the dude in like every video. Just put it on your shirt. I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm not wearing a shirt. Dude, everybody knows you got a crush on him. Put it, put that it on is not shirt. true. It's not a crush. I just admire the man and I think he has an amazing garden. Dad, you have a picture of him in your bedroom. That's, no. Are you sure? It might be too much. I don't know. I mention him in every video. <laughs> Put your shirt on. Okay, I'll put it on. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh my goodness, Dad. Look. Peaches! <laughs> <laughs> Let's unbox some seeds. <laughs> okay? Okay. Peaches. Got my lovely assistant here. Scissors or something? Uh-huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. No, no, we don't need that. No, no, no. A little, little smaller knife. Like, a little smaller. Like, like this? No, no, that's, that's a hatchet. We don't need that. We need something smaller. A little smaller. Where's your little knife you got? No, that's not the little knife you got for Christmas. Let's get rid of that. A little smaller. Where's your knife you got for Christmas? Let me help. For starters, let me smell. Cardboard. Seed starting tray. Seed starting tray. It's the big boy. <laughs> starters starting tray. That we're missing though, and we have something that'll work. Hoss, unfortunately, was out of stock of the trays that goes underneath them. So this is like the seed cell starting tray but they actually make a really cool tray for going underneath it that'll capture the water, et cetera. Kind of looks like a boot tray. Okay, you know, you come in the back door from outside working, boot tray. Goes underneath it. Potatoes. All right. Let's take all this out. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Slide that box to the floor. That way. So what we got is the Haas Tools Spring Garden Planner. Oh, and the fall's on the other side, in case you didn't know. So that we can see when we need to plant our seeds. See how cool that is? Cool. Cool. So anyway, if you watched our seed video, what we've got is way more than we know what to do with. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna plant everything. So let's start with these big items. First we got, we actually, I tried to grow potatoes before. It didn't work. I tried the container style. The soil was too wet. Squirrels are mean and didn't get potatoes. So this time when I went to order potatoes, I didn't really know what I wanted, but they have an assortment. And I'll link all this down below. That way if you guys have any tips or whatnot, you can help us. So what's that? Yukon Gold. It's Yukon Gold. Oh. There's no tea in there. Okay. Oh, okay. Looks good. Am I gonna eat? Yeah. Look, see what that is? Uh, it's chit. It 
It's it's chitting. Stop. So what were these? All blue. Blue potato. I was pretty excited about that. You can even see it's kind of blue right there. Yeah, where it starts. Everybody says if you ask one gardener something, you'll get a right answer. If you ask the next gardener something, you'll get another right answer. Everybody does their own thing. All I have to go off of is the first time I did potatoes. I did cut them and I did let them heal uh, in the sun for a couple of weeks and then I planted them. What killed them was too much water because it was very, very rainy. I probably started them a little bit too soon because uh, potatoes, as I've learned, is um, a potato loves warm soil, warm weather. So anyway though, but chitting is kind of the, the act, if you will, of letting it get a, seriously, it's the act of letting the potato eyes grow and have more of a head start before you plant them. Um, now there's no, you know, scientific fact that I've been able to find that says, yes, this works more efficiently or, you know, grows better. But because I've grown potatoes before, what I'm going to do is actually grow some of them in a five gallon bucket. I'm going to put some in a regular old container and my boring direct seed some, if you will, and put them right into the ground. So should be a good time. Let's put those chits back in the bag. Ooh. Red New Orleans. There's no S on that one. Red New Orleans. <laughs> Red's my favorite color, so this should be for Canini Beck. Or I think you had it right the first time. Canini Beck. Canini Beck. What does it look like? Canini Beck White. Okay. Let's see onion growing out of it. No, that's a small one, because look at these. They're all, like, bigger. This one. A lot bigger? Yeah. Nice. We just had some small ones. So that's the potatoes we got. Like I said, we went with an assortment. Um, so that way we're going to plant all of them. All of the potatoes. Okay. We're going to direct seed some, put some in a container, put some in a five-gallon bucket. But you want to do that one first or this one? Okay. What are those? We got some premium garden seeds. From house tools. I think that's just the tag. <laughs> Read what's in the back. Okay. okay. We got purple corn or purple cone flowers, scarlet flax. Premium garden seeds. From house tools. I think that's just the tag. Read what's in the back. Okay. So we're gonna plant these so that we draw in good insects yeah. and help us have a healthy bees. garden. Bees. Yeah. Well, the like vegetables and stuff, and vegetables and fruit seeds, right here. So first, silver queen sweet corn, sweet cherry tomatoes, homestead tomatoes, swan spinach. I don't want to pronounce it, but. Laureatin rutabaga, harvest jack pumpkin, top bunch 2.0 collars, red Russian kale, Paris Island romaine lettuce, too many middle names, Italian basil, premium greens mix, salad bowl green lettuce, and gray watermelon. Ooh, Oregon sugar pod pea. I love pea. Baby leaf lettuce mix. Bolero carrot. Star of David okra. <clears throat> More rabbit food. It's not. It's salads. That's what we're after. Okay. What is it? Yeah, your your rabbit food. Broadleaf sage. That's a, that's it's, nice. it's broadleaf. Oh. It's bro. Uh, garlic chives. Kentucky blue pole beans. Silver king sweet corn. Okay, so we got two types of corn. Silver Queen King. No, silver. Silver Queen and Silver King. Corn. Thank you, sir. Yep, two types of corn. So we're gonna see which one grows best. We don't we don't really know. We got a teddy bear sunflower. Yeah. yeah. We're trying to throw some color in the backyard. Mm -hmm. 
And... Our American Giant Hybrid Sunflowers. So, like we mentioned in our previous video, these uh, are supposed to be huge. Like, real huge. So, we got as many as we could. We have a six and a half foot privacy fence, and these get how tall again? Like 14 feet. 14 to 17 feet. And the actual flower is supposed to be like a foot around. Mm -hmm. So, that's a, that's a good, that should get the neighbor's attention. Yeah. Not that we don't already. That's what we got, guys. Mm -hmm. This is our Haas Tools um, seeds. That's what we ordered. We uh, still can't pronounce some of them. We're going to find out if we can grow any of them, but we are excited to go. And uh, in the next video, what we'll do is, in the ones we need to start inside, we're going to start them inside in the seed trays, and we'll sort all that out and get started. I'm hungry, so this is a bad time to make this video because it's going to work. Mm -hmm. so. that, that all, like, I gotta say, the one that looks really good to me right now is probably the sugar pot tea, or pea, <laughs> not tea. And the Silver King sweet corn. That looks delicious. Which one do you think will be better, the queen or the king? Queen. queen it looks one. like thicker and creamier. What I do like about Haas Tools, and I, I know there's other companies. I know there's other seed companies. I know there's all kinds of information. You don't have to beat me up. But days to maturity, row spacing, seed spacing, planting depth. That's huge for somebody who's never grown never. anything. Yeah. So, anyway. That's what we got. And it even tells you when to plant them. You know, you're approximate. So um, you just have to figure out what zone you're in and uh, go for it. But we're going to plant everything that we got. Because yeah. something is going to grow. Yeah. Something has to. Yeah. So, anything else to say? Bye. Bye bye. Y'all have a good one. Yep. Chad and Case. Yep. Out. Out. <laughs> This thing is really stout. I think I can stand on this. Dad, it's brand new. And do we really want to break it? Calm down. It's district weight distribution. See? You're, you're lucky. You're lucky. Good job, Peace!